when it comes out. It's supposed to come out in May, and I think that's probably going to be accurate. But for now, let's do a review of what we do actually have, which is the new iPad Pro. So really, there are two main improvements that you should know about with this new iPad, and that's the new A12Z Bionic chip and the new camera system. So the new chip is incredible, again. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised by this, but it makes the iPad Pro, again, even more of a performance monster than the previous gen. Now, it's not some insane performance jump from the last iPad Pro, but a step forward at all is pretty great. And you can see it crushes Geekbench, putting out just about the highest single core score you'll see, especially on any mobile device. And Geekbench is also showing me six gigs of RAM. And we kind of had something like this happen last year where we were wondering if all of the new iPad Pros have the same amount of RAM. I asked Apple if they all have six gigs of RAM or is it just the big one terabyte version? And they said they're not gonna say that's something people will find out when they get them. Which to me sounds like no, they don't all have six gigs of RAM. But either way, that is more than usual in a well-optimized iOS device, as we know, that like sort of feels like the same expansiveness as the 16 gigs of RAM in the S20 Ultra again. So all in all, you use this thing, and you can tell it is consistently a performance monster, which is great news for gaming, great news for multitasking, or just doing anything heavy, you know, having a bunch of tabs open with a bunch of desktop sites, or keeping a lot of things in memory, just the whole thing. Plus, you can't forget about having that super snappy 120 hertz display and the 240 hertz touch refresh rate tying it all together. So performance is there. And then there is the new camera system on the back. Now, I know I rag on this a lot. Like, why do you really need an amazing camera in the back of the iPad? Are you really gonna be the guy in the back row of the concert holding it up, blocking everyone's view like this? 